Yo, what is up guys and welcome back to the channel today. We've got another review on the what if upgraded Pierre Les Melu. We're gonna go through the card as detail set clips and summary and whether I think the upgrade has addressed the shortcomings that I thought the 86 rated card had. Before we get into all of that, if I can ask you guys to please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell so you know when I upload and comment down below if you're gonna grab this card after the upgrade. Without further ado, let's get into the review. So guys, this is the team that I used, Pierre Les Melu, and I played him in that 4-2-3-1 in that defensive midfield spot. And guys, my second impression of this card, having used the 86 rated up uh, card and the 88 rated upgrade now as well, this card is vastly improved in how good he is. Very well-rounded midfielder now, uh, and very capable of doing a job in your teams for a budget price. Without further ado, though, let's just get into the review. Pierre Les Melu, 6 foot 1, high high work rates, right footed, 4 star swings, and 4 star weak foot. 13 games played, 9 goals scored, and 4 assists. So guys, overall, this card has been playing really well for me i'm um, really good from that deep midfield role in terms of scoring goals and creating chances for me as well really nice to have that from a defensive midfield spot as well and he's more attacking oriented guys as well which plays into the usefulness of this card the high high work rates can be a concern if the stamina isn't too good you guys will see that though shortly in a bit and in terms of the chemistry style guys i put a shadow on him i wanted him to be able to defend competently and i feel like he's all right in terms of passing dribbling and shooting he of course does feel a little bit clunky because of his size and width but guys i think if you play him as a deep line playmaker and use those late runs from deep to finish off chances then you don't really have too many issues in that regard getting into the key stats guys and the first one to address those high high work rate concerns is the 99 stamina he is so good at running up and down that pitch and he does it all game long really really great in terms of doing all of that um, the other stats to really pay attention to guys his passing really great now his long shots are even better now as well and his defensive stats have gone up a little bit as well just to help him out in the general defending department what that means guys is when you put that shadow chemistry style on him it takes his defending to a very very good level and takes his pace to a usable level as well his agility and balance are a little lower as well than you would like but the ball control and general movement is pretty good and you'll see that in a bunch of the clips i managed to get some really nice dribbling clips with him as well so that was nice to have too the only other con i would mention which is a slight con is if you you are in the box with this card the 84 finishing does sometimes hinder him but otherwise you guys will see from the clips he got plenty of goals for me finally guys the traits he's got the outside official trait the playmaker and the team player i wish he had the long passer trait but his long passing is phenomenal nonetheless and now that we've covered all that we're going to get into some of the clips that i got with him so guys, getting to some of Pierre Lismenu's clips, and what you guys are going to see here is his general ability to transition from that defense to attack and rapidly do so as well. Now the thing that I was most impressed about this card, guys, and we'll just get into it straight away, is his general passing range. His passing range is really good, guys, um, and what that means is that you've got a player who can get himself out of danger a number of ways because he's able to pass the ball away. But actually, guys, uh, leading on from that as well, he's got a surprising level of dribbling, which allows him to allows him to be very maneuverable. And that means that when you're trying to get past players, especially with that long stride as well, he's got the capability to do that and start your transitions really well. Now, the next thing I want to get into, guys, is his size. And his size is phenomenal, guys. It's one of the major reasons why this card is actually as good as it is. Because he has that level of size as well as a reasonable amount of agility and good passing and the pace you can remedy to some sort of level what you end up getting guys is a player who's very physically capable very able to move through the transition and very similar in ways to that moment adrian rabio without being uh, imbalanced in terms of defensive uh, side of the game he's able to do that as well as you guys are seeing in a number of these clips he's able to defend very well very easily very cleanly and that is also bolstered by the fact that he is so big now leading on to that into his physicality guys because of his size that means that he is relatively strong as well and you'll see him managing to hold off defenders hold off midfielders as well who he's going up against just because of his sheer size and power uh, and leading on to that physicality as well is his stamina and that is a really phenomenal factor about this card is you're able to run all game with this card um, it does not matter how much you do he won't be tired by the end of the game like all the other cards would be and that allows you to drive attacks further forward as well from that dm spot which is really where your attacks need to start and pivot from in order to be able to create chances as with any midfielder position so it's nice to have that stamina in there now guys getting on to the next part of his game which is his shooting i felt like his shooting was okay guys especially from distance i felt like from distance he was a far better shooter than from up close uh, i felt like up close he struggled a little bit now maybe that was because of the shooting of course there are also some poor angles in here that i'm taking shots from but i felt like he maybe should have scored a couple of them uh, as opposed to missing them however guys what i will say is from distance or taking them just from a uh, not so distant position but just outside the box 
the shot power and long shots on this guy mean that this is a real threat in terms of getting shots on goal and having a someone who can offer you a different dimension in your team rather than having to break someone down by quick passing and dribbling you can just ping a shot from distance and it may well go in or at least lead to an opportunity to score now guys over and over again you're just going to see more and more of the same passing range uh, that, that he displays every single time he has the ball. Um, the final thing I want to get into, guys, is his pace. His pace is a bit of a struggle, and I would say that's the one factor you do need to improve upon, which is why I put the shadow on him. I wanted the maximum amount of that, and I feel like the dribbling is livable. As you guys can see, he moves reasonably well with his dribbling. Now, you're going to get some of the goals. That one there was absolutely ridiculous. And we'll see a couple more here where you'll just see this finish as well outside of the foot ridiculous effort from outside the box great goal there and every goal he scored was very good very clean but he's able to do the difficult shots as well as the easy ones you guys are seeing here again lovely dribbling keeping the ball there tight in the box and smashing it in there with that shot power the last few clips again and every single goal it wasn't like they were all easy i mean that one was fairly easy to finish but you've seen the first two goals as well what he's able to do this little finish here not the easiest to finish to do for a midfielder who's got low finishing and high shot power he could well have blasted that over but the finesse and the touch on that is brilliant as well his ability to use that long stride really helped as well in creating space this one here illustrates the dribbling perfectly for me guys look how well he moves in between these defenders and that's just with left stick dribbling of course i'm not much of a skiller but what he's able to do is use that size to get in on goal and this final clip here guys tackled there but gets the ball back here gets through the defense and smashes it into the top corner here so guys, you're getting to this final Pierre Liz Melou summary. 79k on the PlayStation, 70k on the Xbox, and 100k on the PC. Now guys, of course, getting into the key stats, his passing, really good there. His dribbling is pretty decent. The agility and balance are a bit of a con, but it's manageable. Uh, the 99 stamina is great as well. His physicality is very good, and his long shots and shot power are really good as well. It does generate a fair bit of force from those. In terms of the recommended chemistry style, guys, I stuck the shadow on him. I still would stick with the shadow, guys, just to make him that overall usable player in midfield. However, if you were wanting more of an attacking output from him, I think his pace definitely does need a helping hand. I think his dribbling does need a helping hand as well, and you would do him no harm by giving him a passing boost as well. So I think the engine actually will work very well on this card too. If we get into the similar sorts of players, guys, um, again, we did this previously, so I'm not going to go into this too much, but I feel like this card plays at a very attacking in terms of his capability slightly slower than this curtis jones in terms of the overall pace but actually in terms of attacking uh, ability he is just as good able to create just as much just not quite as athletic because of that pace element if we're getting to the link ability guys He's, of course, got perfect links to Kamara and Jean-Claude Todibo from Nice. Strong links to French icons as well as French players in the league, earn, and a bunch of French players across, uh, of course, other leagues too. So some nice linkability there. Guys, we're not going to do a price comparison on this one. We're just going to get straight into it as we do. We keep this review fairly brief. I think this card is really good, guys. I would 100% recommend, recommend picking up this card. He is super cheap for what you're getting in the midfield. That industry, that ability to be able to do all parts of the midfield game that you need him to be able to do. Fantastic doing all of that. Definitely worth a pick up on this card. Hope you guys did enjoy this short re-review. Uh, if you did, please do smash that like button. Until next time, I will see you all in a bit.